Hey guys, I'm Johnny Scovel. This is late night snack time with the Scovel Squad. Anything that comes in a coffin, I'm kind of digging, at least with food. All right, this is pretty neat. This is from Roth's Pretzels. This is their grim challenge. Isn't that cool? I'm grooving on it completely. These are, this is a first, uh, this is a pretzel challenge. I'm kind of excited. I've had some hot pretzels, but I don't think I've had one that was a challenge yet. Let me read you, and I've reviewed, these guys found me on Instagram. They're very, very cool. I reviewed uh, one of their products already, one of their uh, pretzels already. But let me read you the back here. It's got the little rules here, or information about it. Uh, the ingredients are wheat flour, thiamine mononitrate, salt, vegetable oil, dill, red pepper, garlic, citric acid, malt, syrup, baking soda, yeast, natural and artificial flavors. It does contain wheat. Caution, some of our products are extremely hot. Consume at your own risk. These guys are in Grand Junction, Colorado, rothspretzels.com. There'll be a link in the description box below for them. Now, I don't have any rules as such for this. Um, I open it up and we're right interior, and this is your bag of really hot pretzels that they made. All right, so it doesn't say, uh, that, that, you know, it doesn't really have the rules on here, so I'm just going to eat them all. I'm ready to open these things up. That's what I gotta figure out. Oh. Anyway, we're gonna rip these things open. I'm trying not to. Sorry, people. All right, here we go. I'm picking up the garlic, that's all I really get, I'm getting. I smell nice. My mouth is watering. All right, so this is from Roth's Pretzels. This is their Grimm uh, Challenge. Grimm's Challenge. I am Johnny Scoville. This is Chase D. The flavor is amazing. Isn't just the, I guess maybe it's the combination of the dill, the red pepper and the garlic, but man, it just works. You know what this is? It's a great snack, but it's the perfect challenge product for somebody just kind of getting into the game. They're spicy, but they're not going to hurt you. But if you know, this is one of those great confidence building challenges that gets you taken off, you know? They taste so good. We're going to do uh, Tommy's Picks while I'm eating the last of these peppers. First pick today comes from 7 8. Love the way he spells his name. That's great. I love habaneros. Does that make me a chili head? I mean, I've eaten Ghost um, and Carolina Reaper, but I love habanero. Am I in the club? I hearted that comment when it first came in. I loved that comment. Let's see what Tommy says about it. Isn't this a fun comment? Yes, my friend, you are absolutely a chili head. I think you'll find over time that as your tolerance grows, you want to probably push, want to push, to push that envelope. But loving the burn is what makes it part of the family for, makes you a part of the family for sure. Great comment. This would be a three. Brings up a good point. What makes a chili head? You know what my take is? Tommy probably agrees with me. If you if all you like are jalapeno flakes on your pizza once in a while, but you really love it on your pizza, 
That's something you really enjoy and you look forward to it, you're a Chilean. You do not have to melt your face off with a challenge to prove yourself. And that's what's cool about this channel. So many other channels are all about who can eat the hottest and it's really about bravado. Now I really, I don't, with me it's not about bravado, it's me about, with me it's about who's gonna eat more, who's gonna be eating hot stuff tomorrow that wasn't eating hot stuff today. It's not who can eat more, it's let's get more of us eating it. That's what it's about. I don't know. Seven, eight, you're a Chilean. Next comment's from, my name is Dave. Johnny has chased the heat, caught up to it, put it in a headlock, and body slammed it. <laughs> I like that. It's from the face melter video. I thought this was a pretty good spin on the whole chase the heat thing after watching Johnny and that face melter challenge with the beef jerky. I think this pretty much sums it up. He really has chased the heat. He really has showed it a thing or two. Great comment. Also a three. And lastly today, we have Ari, uh, Carrie Andrews. Sorry, of sound, in, in quotations, of sound mind, LOL. <laughs> well, this one just made me laugh because every single time I see any of the real chili heads read off that disclaimer, there's just something funny about them saying of sound mind. Great comment. Solid three. Thank you guys so much for your comments. Um, I ate all the pretzels. It's not very hot. Here's the thing. Like I said, it it's spicy. It would be a challenge for, this is what's true. It's not going to be a challenge for a chili head, but this absolutely would be a bit of a challenge for somebody who's not into chilies at all. But again, this is a great confidence building, a great starting point. If you want to try a chili challenge and get one under your belt, here it is. Grimm's Challenge from Roth's, Roth's Pretzels. Thank you, uh, Roth's Pretzels. There'll be a link in the description box for them. So uh, go check them out. Give them a follow on Instagram. And for whatever you do, get some of their pretzels because they're great. These taste so good. They were really a joy to eat. So thank you for that. Uh, if you've already tried them, go to the comment section and say so. Right there is our pepper. Click it when you do your part of this whole thing, this thing of ours. If you don't want to miss a video, you don't need to. Click the bell for notification uh, and select all. And you'll get all. Right there is League of Fire. League of Fire. League of Fire. Who's going to be in the League of Fire at the end of the month? Well, email me at chasethegm at gmail.com right there. More videos. Thanks for chilling with me. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase the Heat.